right, man. Let's talk about uh, uh, the Lions not addressing the interior defensive line, the defensive tackle position, finding that guy in the middle that can rush the passer. Are they going to bet? Are they going to bet on Josh Pascal and Levi Anazorki to man that? Uh, I know Lee McNeil said he loses away. He want to be a better pass rusher. They drafted the uh, the kid uh, Broderick Martin, I think it was from Western Kentucky. He more of a run stopper and developmental guy. So the Lions did uh, didn't address the interior defensive tackle position. Let's talk about it. Check out Detroit Lions talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So. Um, so they still got a bunch of cap space. Um, uh, that's what we can say. Um, so yeah, they got a bunch of cap space still. Uh, but, you know, I don't know if they waiting for June 1st cuts. You know, that means Anazorki, you know, they expect a lot from him. Obviously, Josh Pascal can, you know, spend some time up the middle. A lot of people wanted him to take Kalishi Kansi, uh, and they were saying, well, Jack Campbell could have been there in the second round. And maybe Jack Campbell was going to be there in the second round, but, you know, somebody said Atlanta was planning on moving up to get Jack Campbell at the, uh, in the first round. So, um, obviously, they, they said Campbell was the number one guy on their board, and they won best available. They wasn't going to really bring a depth chart in there and do me. So, you know, with Collision Campbell being there, um, um, I mean, it is what it is. You know, they, they didn't, obviously they didn't like him enough, uh, even though he fits a need. Some people thought he fits a need in the talent. Maybe they thought he was too small. Maybe they thought, you know, he wasn't good enough at stopping the run. And you got Josh, Josh Pascal, who can do some things that Kalishi Campbell could do on the inside. So people get caught up in the 40. They wasn't so caught up in the tape. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's one thing to think about, but, um, but yeah, they didn't. They didn't address that need, um, and you know, I don't know if they banking on Anazorki and Pascal. And Pascal, you know, he's a utility guy. He can give you some time up the, in, in the middle of that defense, but counting on him full time. I mean, counting them on like counting on him more than fifty percent of the time is crazy. But maybe they expect Anazorki. Maybe it's a move coming. Maybe they know somebody gonna get cut June post June first. Maybe they looking for some franchise tag casualties that ain't maybe possibly signing a tag and they can move them. But um, right now, that's still a hole. And I'm, I told y'all how important it was, how important it was for them um, to, to get some, some juice up the middle of that field. And Benito Jones or Isaiah Bugs and Aline McNeil, they, they, not, they ain't going to cut it. Pass rushing up the middle of the field. You know, Aiden Hutchinson and, and uh, James Houston and those guys need somebody that's gonna push the pocket up the middle. They go, they need somebody that's gonna push that to push that pocket up the middle and collapse that pocket from the middle of the defense. That's the most disruptive type of pressure. And right now, they don't have it. You know, you know, stopping the run and all that. That's you know, Jack Campbell gonna help that. And maybe they, you know, gonna have Aaron Glenn put on some more design blitzes. I don't know. You know, I, I don't, I don't know if that's that's gonna that's gonna be the case. But uh, but you know, but right now, I mean, and maybe they all. I mean, it's it's a lot of possibilities. It, it's a lot of possibilities to be had. You know, it's a lot of possibilities to be had as well, too. I mean, you got post June first cuts. Um, is they gonna pay? Are they gonna pay Ed Oliver in Buffalo? You know, so you know, and they still shopping guys, and this don't have nothing to do with the Lions. But they still shopping guys like Dalvin Cookins and Darius Smith. So think about that for a minute. They still shopping those guys. So of course, there's gonna be other guys out here that's that's gonna get shopping. Maybe they know something. Maybe they waiting on somebody to get cut, or maybe they gonna they gonna roll the dice on Anazorki. You know, and that's that's a big roll of dice on him and Pascal, the man in that middle. Um, and obviously they probably feel like they can rotate some guys in some pass rushing situations. Um, it's run stopping situations, but you know that's still a huge weak point for them right now. And um, that's still a weak point. So you know Jack Campbell helps stuff that run, but you know they didn't do anything to really to make anybody feel more comfortable 
about, you know, being more styled at the defensive line, interior defense tackle position, or get some juice from somebody uh, up there that can rush the passer. So, uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't think, you know, you, I don't, you know, but we'll see, but it's like I said, you got post June first cuts, you got trades, you got, I mean, you know, so they got a bunch of cap space and I'm pretty sure it's the reason why they, they still got that cap space. So, um, you know, so we got to wait and see, but yeah, it's a concern, but they feel like Anna Zorky and Josh Pascal. I mean, like I told y'all last year with all the injuries they had getting Josh Pascal back hundred percent healthy. And who knows what honors work he at, you know, um, getting him back 100%. That's going to be like getting, a, you know, additional second-round draft picks because we ain't seen a lot of them. So it's going to be like getting, the, you know, free agent pickups or additional first, and they can give you something. They can stay healthy. You know, I feel like if you would have got a healthy honors work, he was the second most important player on the team last year. After Jared Goff, Goff held up his end of the bargain. And, um... You know, Anazork, he couldn't held up his. And Anazork can come back and kick ass and take names this year. You know, the defense is going to look a lot different. And you can probably, you know, Aiden Hutchinson stay healthy. You probably can book Aiden Hutchinson for 10 sacks. Easy. Easy. With, an, with, some, with a presence on the inside. So, um, but yeah, you know, it's still a cause for concern. Still people saying, well, still people saying, um... Still, people saying, you know, well, that's a hole. And like I said, you got post June first cuts. Uh, you still got a bunch of money. Um, still got some, you know, you know, still can make some moves. But, uh, but right now, it, it assume, I assume, and it appears, and I think a lot of y'all agree with me, that they're probably going to, they're probably banking on on, on honest working and Josh Pascal. And I, if I had to, if I had to be, if I had to be honest, they're probably more banking on leave honest working to come in. And Pascal to spell him on that in the pass rusher situation. So, you know, you can't continue to put Aiden Hutchinson and, and have him man the inside and the outside. Last year, they put him on the inside and pass rush situations. You ain't going to do nothing but wear that kid out doing that dumb shit so, uh, all the time. And that's why Charles Harris got wore out. It's just him and Charles Harris. Because you had uh, Junior Lacora start off injured. Kaminsky ended up getting injured. A lot of guys. And what's so funny about it, they said James Houston was dominating in practice and stuff. But they couldn't find a way to get him on the roster. And I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, I mean, I mean, how, how you went, wasn't po couldn't get him on the roster with all the injuries that you have. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all our notification. Crucial chance getting notifications. We go live. We'll drop video. Uh, Financially want to support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good313, Venmo, CJ Good313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, you can find me on TikTok, Twitch, I mean, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, and cash up, Venmo, PayPal, all the links inside the link tree. Peace.